to our team coverage with Jonathan Rodriguez, who's in Montcure. Well, thanks, Derek. We're here at Moncure School. Duke Energy representatives meeting with the community to address some of those questions. What will they do with the millions of tons of ash they have stored at these ponds across the state? Now, this is kind of a drop-in style meeting. They have set up different tables where you can stop by and uh, ask about different topics, whatever you may be interested in, fleet management, the community involvement, or, of course, ash management. But also today, we got a first-hand look at the Cape Fear Station, one of the first times we've been allowed on Duke Energy property to look at those five ash ponds there and to talk about some of the violations Duke received at that facility. Take a look. For nearly 90 years, it was one of Duke Energy's largest coal burning facilities in the state. On site are five ash ponds holding nearly 4.5 million tons of coal ash. Duke crews took us to where in March the company was cited for this. The state says they were illegally draining their ash ponds. Our teams identified the need to make a repair uh, to the pipe and to do that uh, we felt it in the best interest of safety if we lowered the water in the basin. Now this is one of the two ponds where the state estimates Duke Energy pumped about 61 million gallons of toxic water into the Cape Fear River but if you ask Duke Energy they still maintain they did nothing to violate their permits. We believe that we worked within our permit requirements and uh, did it uh, in, in a manner that was that was within the permit. During the state's investigation Duke was also cited for a crack found along the basin wall. Over a couple of weeks, we saw that expand, and so the decision was made to complete a repair on the ash basin wall here. And as you can see, this is the work that was done. Uh, there's been some additional uh, riprap put on there as part of that, as well as, as some, some repair done underneath. The company says it will be shutting down all of its ash ponds, but are still working to figure out the best way to address the ash stored here. And as for who will pay for it all? We're still evaluating how those costs will be recovered. Dan River, we said, the emergency response will be paid for by our shareholders, but we're still evaluating the means by which we will uh, uh, handle cost recovery for closing these basins. That's just something that's not been determined yet. Now, if it's not the shareholders, of course, it will be the customers who will foot that bill. Duke has Energy estimates it could cost up to $10 billion to shut down all of its ash ponds across the state. But we'll continue to push for answers. And if you have questions of your own, you can stop by here in Moncure. The meeting goes on for about another 30 minutes. Sean, back to you. All right, Jonathan, thank you. It's a big issue, and you can find all our reports right now on Duke Energy on WNCN.com.